my hand. So I have here four books. Hi everyone, this is Shariq and welcome to my page Globetrot with Arabic. I came live last week to let you know that my uh, my first book was printed and delivered to me and now I finally have all the information necessary and I have got answers to all the questions that you were asking. So look, as I told you before, uh, these are four books and some of them are the same kind of similar so let me explain everything about them so the first book is called Milad and the Three Bright Stars a Christmas Tale of Love and Peace so this is a children's book written in the Arabic script and translated into English and the illustrations inside are so beautiful the story is really really extremely inspirational and uh, the the theme inside is things that I wish like we were we were taught as children. So basically the main character of all these series of books that I'm writing is called Milad. Hi Erika. So it's called Milad and in this story Milad and his friends are brainstorming together and discussing ways uh, to make the world a better place, to find peace and how we can end wars basically so as you can see if i open a random page here you will find the translation in english and the arabic script and you will see all the diacritics all the short vowels on the arabic script to make it easier to pronounce uh, i wanted to mention something like okay i know in lebanon we speak a lot of french english and as lebanese people you know this reflects our way of being multicultural but sometimes it happens at the expense of our language our lebanese dialect and a lot of little kids even living in lebanon are not knowing how to speak arabic and they're speaking how, they're not knowing how to speak lebanese and they're speaking mostly french or english because bedtime stories are usually in french or english and there are not so many uh, bedtime stories in the Lebanese dialect. So this is an opportunity for us to take care of our dialect, of our language again, and bring back those stories in Lebanese Arabic to our children. So this is not a Fusha book, it's a Lebanese Arabic book, but written with the Arabic script. Now, the same book comes in another version to the peop for the people, hi, so to the people who don't know how to read and write Arabic, you will find the one that is with the English transliteration. You can see Milad, Wunjum, Tletis, Sata. I don't know if you can see it in reverse. Okay, so this here, for example, you will see the upper part is in English. The lower part is in Lebanese Arabic, but with the chat alphabet, with using the Roman transliteration. You can order this with the link in my bio. You will find the link to my Shopify um, uh, shop, which I was trying to um, figure out how to do it. And I fi finally found out how to do it. And I created all the products and I listed them there. So what do you get with this book? Firstly, you get a hard copy. So you have two options. You either get the hard copy with the digital or just the digital. Like if you're an adult learning Lebanese Arabic or Levantine Arabic and you want to practice your Arabic, this is also a great opportunity for you to discuss maybe big topics like peace, like um, the, uh, nature, uh, uh, many big topics that are included in this book. So um, in that case, if you're not interested in the hard copy, you also have the option of the digital book, which you will get instantly if you got, go to my Shopify page. But if you get the hard copy book, you will see what you get with it. Firstly, this book, a tangible book. You will also get the digital book with the, tangi with the tangible book, with the hard copy book. The, when I say digital book, it has the ebook, a PDF file. It has a video book. I put all these illustrations together in a video and I recorded the stories in my voice. And you will also get audiobooks. So you have so many things that come with this package. Really amazing stuff. So uh, what did I record and how did I record? Firstly, I recorded the story. I recounted the stories in Arabic only. So basically, let's say your child goes to bed and uh, they're listening to this. Okay, and they're looking at the illustrations in Arabic. Maybe one day they just want to listen to it in English. I also recounted it just in English. And for those of you especially who are... And also, by the way, there is a vocab list as well that I recorded as well with my voice, slowly, with the translations, etc. So to, do the, to those of you who are interested in learning Arabic, what I did is I recorded very, very slowly 
uh, every passage on its own. Let's say another audio with the, with, let's say we go to this page, okay? I read the English part and then the Arabic part very slowly for you to have time to repeat after me and to practice your pronunciation. So it's a great way to improve your Arabic. So this is a story about Christmas, perfect Christmas gift to yourself, to your child, and maybe to the friends of your children. Now, there's another book that I also wrote. It's the same character called Milet, and I will have several books with the same character. It's a series of books. And these are books that are not just Lebanese Arabic, but also kind of like educational, uh, inspirational for children. As I said, uh, I speak about things that uh, they're nice for children to learn, okay? So this one is called Mile Discovers the Magic of Discipline. So obviously you can tell that it teaches children how to become disciplined, how to set goals, uh, I always say I'm not the most disciplined person in the world, but it's at least nice to put these little ideas in the minds of children since a, a very young age. So again, it's the main character with with his friends um, uh, talking about how to become disciplined, how to achieve goals, what are the things they can do to achieve goals, such as, uh, I don't know, journaling uh, and learning from setbacks and all these things that um, are important to achieve dreams, uh, to set goals and achieve dreams. Again, there are two versions of this story. Milet discovers the magic of discipline. Milet biktishaf sihr al indibad. You will find it with the Arabic script here, translated into English. And as I said, the Arabic script has all the little short vowels if it makes it easier for you or for your child to read this book. And you have the version that comes with the Arabic transliteration for people who don't know how to read and write Arabic, but they still want to hear Lebanese Arabic, learn Lebanese Arabic, or they want to tell Lebanese stories to their children. Again, this book also comes in two different ways. Number one, you can get it as a hard copy. It comes as a hard copy plus the digital copy, which includes audiobooks, ebooks, the PDF file basically, and video books. This is the video books are perfect for for children for example if they're on their iPad during the day but at night maybe you want to tell them a story and you don't want screen time in bed you just want like a real book that would be a perfect uh, option and uh, if you're buying this for your child uh, I'd rather if you get the hard copy because because really, even myself, I was so surprised when I saw this book. It looks really, really, really beautiful. Much nicer than the screen when I was working on it. But if you're an adult and you're there just to learn Arabic, maybe you don't need a hard copy. A digital copy would be a nice. Hi, Saro. Uh, what else did I want to say about this? Uh, yeah, so as I, I was saying, you have the option of a hard copy plus the, the digital book or just the digital book that has the audiobooks, a video book uh, and an ebook. I think this is everything. I don't know if I have anything to add or if you have any questions, just let me know. You will find the link uh, to all these products um, in my bio. It's on my Shopify uh, account. Uh, you, if you're getting the digital copy, you can literally get it instantly. You can click on it and you can get it. And if you're getting the uh, hard copy, the paperback copy, uh, you you will need some time so really before christmas i just need really enough time to send it to you so hurry up to buy it if you want it before christmas as a christmas gift because sometimes to america it might take up to 10 days for me to ship this uh, so hurry up and do that uh, i wanted to say also one thing so even if you get the hard copy you get the hard copy let's say in 10 days but you instantly get the so uh, the digital copy on the spot from shopify I think that's it for today and if you have any questions leave a message uh, uh, in my bio or just uh, yeah leave a message in my bio okay bye